Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim. So this is that mech. Cool looking thing. Right, landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause, we'll go to fast. We're gonna start with the eye visor area. So let's go. Curve it down. Like that. And then it's like square in the middle. And then it goes back up. You want it to be about the same size. Right. It's like these wings sticking out. So then it kind of gets a bit spiky on the end and then it comes back down to there. And then it comes back up around the, the mouth area. <clears throat> It's kind of like all yellow inside there. There's various different armor plates and shapes for the head, right? So the shape, say, the side of the head will go here, right? And here. And then this kind of sticks out. Down. down and then we'll go in down in down and then it kind of curves around the front right like that and it has another little chunk of something inside here metal like so so then like a trick with sort of metallic objects, right? Is like you go around the rim of things. And it's just to make them look a little bit three dimensional and that there's more sort of depth to them. So like a lot of these will have like edge lines and stuff to them and little sections like this and metal plates and stuff all inside, little boxes and all stuff like that, dots on them. Like everything sort of welded together, but you know, it's just kind of the easiest way to do objects like that. And then, so coming up from here, we've got like two little edge lines there, and then it has a cap, and then it has what looks like kind of like ears or something up this side, right? So they kind of come across that way. And then there's a little a vent or something inside here. Right, so like and these will have like cross lines. Right, and then we'll go up to here, across. There. And then it curves over the top like that. And then it has a line up the middle. So I'm moving quite fast now because this would be a complicated drawing, so I don't want the video to be crazy long. So hit pause whenever I sort of move my hand or go too fast. And I'll add little edge lines and like extra sort of metallic plates and stuff. There's like a light or something here. Okay, that's the face. So the armor around the body and like the overall kind of shape. So I, I think it's always useful with things like this to draw our overall shapes first and then add details afterwards, right? So he's got like one singular plate at the back, right? So it kind of like goes this way diagonally first there. Right, 
And then it seems to wing out, right? So, well, there's two sections, right? So it goes up here and in first. And so maybe that's the easiest way to go up to about the same level and in there. And then this comes around the front of the face, right? Here. And then spikes up, down, and it's got like a line in the middle. And you can see some sort of neck armor and stuff inside there as well. So like, like around here, it's, uh, I call it armor, but it's just like some plates or something. And then there's more stuff around the back that kind of joins all this together. Now, so he's got a big like thing at the back of his head. And it comes up this way and then another one. It goes up like that and then it seems to curve across the top. And then it's got like a little lip on the top of it. There's like a red section here or something. There's all bolts and welds and everything. Now, so this plate then comes around the front of the neck and joins a, another plate at the front. So it goes here. So we bring it sort of around. It's like a collar, right? It seems to join this. So this kind of curves around and then goes down. And then in. And you make that circular thing that's down there. It's a little collar on this side. There. And then there's like a shoulder plate here. And then a chest plate that comes out from here. So like the chest plate goes out, meets the shoulder plate somewhere there down and right, we'll go down again steps down a few times and then comes back into that circle area again so like in here so this big like circle in here So, right, this circle goes around. Well, there's a couple of circles actually. So, right, so we'll just go for this. there so try and fix that mm -hmm. so we'll go down this way and I'll add another something there to kind of balance it out, right? 
we'll make it so this is another place here. Nice. Just went a bit off on my circle. Right. So then circles inside here as well. So it's all like spinning blades and all this kind of stuff inside here. Circles inside circles. Blades kind of spin around this way. And then there's all circles and edges and everything inside here, lots of them. Like armor going all up and around. And it's kind of glowing. Glowing yellow or something in there. Right, so then there's like more plates and stuff all going this way. So if you have a compass or something like to get more perfect circles, you can use that, of course. Okay, and another armor plate here. Right. Of course, there's all lines and loads of stuff, details and everything on all this. But we just get the main shapes in now. So, his body, right, has these sort of pipes and stuff sticking out, I think. So they kind of come down. This kind of jaggedy sort of situation here. And then in and then up like a rib cage. Sort of there. Right, and then so that's like the rib cage area it goes around that circle. And then the body goes this way. And then his hips. there and then like the shoulders stick out this way so we just have big shoulder pads going out here down shoulder armor <clears throat> there then it kind of goes out and down in for the arm all these kind of plates jaggedy sort of plates just sticking out here and then the inside of the arm it seems is just like this That sort of shape, right? And do the same thing over here. and get them the same level and then the arm on the inside so all these will be like separate plates and 
armor and stuff sticking off. Right, and then he has two wings or something, the vents and everything that stick out up the top. So we'll go this way. And there's like a light or something that sticks down here. And then the top line comes up on the edge of it. It goes back down to there. And same thing over this side. Let's go an edge. Okay. That's our general shape. Now we have to detail all this out. So basically we've got to like just add lines and like textures and boxes and stuff. And so it's like there's lights or something in here. And you gotta like break up all these shapes. Adding edges and textures and everything. These are like pipes or something that stick off his belly. raised panels and stuff inside. So I'm just gonna like try to break it up, make it look a bit more mechanical. Ooh, all these kind of shapes. So just like adding an edge to all this stuff. And there's no sort of easy way of doing this. You just kind of have to detail it out and go slow. I think he's got like vents or something up here. And then 
dials and wheels and all sorts of stuff shadows and pipes and everything sorts of mechanical all sort of a real easy way of doing this you just gotta And then we do the same thing over the side. Always fun drawing robots. <laughs> Go, keep going. Talking to myself, don't give up. Do, 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 do. Never give up. Never surrender. Something there. Gypsy danger. Choom. Choom. Be all black and shadowed and stuff all inside there. And okay, so depending on how much more detail you'd like, you like to add to these sorts of things, yeah. you can stay going. But I think I'll stop. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.